All right, so today's Friday, and um, I've had quite a week. So <laughs> um, Valentine's Day was wonderful. It couldn't have been better. I really had no expectations. Um, Eva had her vaccine shots on Valentine's Day, um, and Valentine's Day has like just a whole new meaning for us. Uh, it was, last year is when we found out that we were pregnant and it was really like, well, this is real, like we planned it out, but then when it's like there, oh my God, <laughs> like what were we thinking? <laughs> um, we're just so blessed to have her and that she's healthy and she had her wellness check and she's a tiny little girl, she's on the 25th percentile and her head is the 75th percentile, so she's got a lot of brains. <laughs> um, but. Yeah, she's good, she's growing, um, and yeah, good bill of health. So we're just going to add a couple more feedings to see if we can chunk her up a little bit more, but I think she's pretty good. Um, so uh, so we were able to go out to dinner after her shots. She wasn't fussy, really, um, which was great. Um, dinner was wonderful. Um, she let us eat so and let everyone else in the restaurant eat. So... Anyway, so we obviously didn't get to work out, and so I did this today's workout, which was uh, Z cut number five, and I ended up doing it twice since I missed yesterday's workout just to torture myself. And to add to it, I did the bonus ab workout, and I am pretty cooked right now. Uh, here is the workout, and. Um, <sighs> Please, my, I'm going to try to keep my form good. I just, it was tough doing this twice. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, so the first workout, um, the first move, what you're going to be doing is um, there's four moves, and you're going to go through it four times, and of course, I did it five times just to torture myself. And what you're going to do is it's for time, so you don't need a gym boss or anything, just a timer. Uh, so that you can try to push yourself, and so that the next time you do it, you do it good. Um, the first is five, uh, I'm sorry, ten broad jump burpee push-ups, and basically what those look like, let me move this real quick. All right, so think of, I'll kind of modify it so I'm still on the screen here. You're going to go into a nice, deep, broad, kind of an over-the-river um, jump, and go down into a burpee and then into a deep push-up. And if you're a beginner, that's okay if you just kind of do a little mini one or go into your knees and do it that way. But try to push yourself to go for a really deep push-up. You might notice my push-ups look a little funny. My right arm um, isn't healed right, so um, I can't bend it past this. I can't really touch my shoulder. So um, kind of funky, huh? Um, so my push-ups look kind of wonky, and some of my moves might look a little wonky on my right side. But I can still do it. No excuses. So you're going to do that move ten times. So the jump to down to a burpee to a push-up, that's one, and then jump over and do it again. The second move is a 20 high knees. And she encourages you to use a chair or something just for accountability-wise. I mean, certainly you can stand there and do high knees, but I think that I like her idea of the accountability. So you're going to be doing 20 of those, and left and right equals one rep. So one, two. So, oh, I counted that wrong, didn't I? One, two. So encouraging you really to get those knees up, using your core, not just your legs to bring it up, but bring your, use your core, stand up straight, don't lean back, don't huddle forward, nice and straight core. And then the next move is 10 tricep dips, and you can use a chair um, using a step stool, and you want to put your legs at a 90 degree angle, and you want to go down, and with your body weight, um, lifting with your arms, your triceps, um, you're cheating if you use your legs, so you got to use the honor system here on those. You're going to be doing 10 of those. If you don't have a chair or you just prefer not to, then you can always do the tabletops that I've shown in the past. So you'll be going like this into a tabletop position and then going down like that. And you can challenge yourself by doing five on one side and then five on another. And then Seth is just joining me. He got to visit with his brother. Um, the next is 
Oh, that's it. So you're just going to be doing actually just the four moves, the three moves, um, four rounds, and push yourself to five rounds. <laughs> Here's little Eva. You want to do a little jump squat? Yeah? Squat and jump. Good girl. Good plyo. Good girl, <laughs> All right. So the next move are abs. Um, the, the bonus ab workout is pretty killer. You're going to be doing four different ab moves, moves, and you're going to be doing it for two rounds. The first is ab splitters, and we've done that before. And <laughs> so ab splitters are where you go up to touch your toes, and then straddle, and then toe touch, and that's considered one rep. You're going to be doing those three moves five times. And then the next one is an elevated knee tuck oblique. So use a chair or something to elevate. You're going to be doing 20 of these. So going into a plank with your hands beneath your shoulders, holding your body up nice and straight. You don't want to sag your back and hurt yourself. And you're going to go tuck and back oblique. Tuck and oblique. And that would be two reps. So three. Now, if that's a little too advanced for you, you can just get rid of the chair or the whatever you're using for elevation. And you can go into a traditional plank and you can tuck and oblique for one. Tuck and oblique for two. If um, again that's a little bit too rough for you, then I recommend that you kind of just kind of go in and do some step steps. You can always do that. And for the oblique, just step, 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 step. If you don't want to have so much time elevated, that's just too much for you and work your way up. The next move is a competition setup, which basically you lay flat like this and then roll your abs up to a toe touch. And you're going to be doing 20 of those, followed by 20 side plank toe touches. These ones are killer. Um, the advanced move would be to be on a, a true side plank with your arm like this and up to a toe touch. And you'll do 10 on this side and then 10 on the other. If that's too difficult for you, you can go down like this, um, or actually, um, a moderate would be onto your elbow. Again, your arm like this. And one. And two. And you'll do five on this side. I'm sorry, ten on this side and ten on the other for a total of twenty. If that is um, if for beginner, 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 would be lying down on the ground, not elevated, elbows supporting you under your shoulder, and same thing but going like this for 10 on this side and 10 on the other. And then work, I encourage you to work your way up. So if you were to do this ab workout, say, every other day, um, and then by maybe the fourth or fifth time you did it, I guarantee you'll be moving up into more of the moderate position. I don't really um, encourage doing ab workouts every day because I think that your muscles start getting used to it and you don't get the benefits from it. And plus these other workouts that we're doing, you're engaging your core, and so you, uh, through muscle confusion, you're able to go back and do a workout that you did maybe a month ago, and you'll get, you'll reap the benefits from it as opposed to doing that same workout every day all the time. All right, so that's the workout, and I hope that you enjoy it as much as I did.